this trip came up spontaneously while walking around Istanbul streets. Just a day before, I saw the travel agency selling the various bus trips, and this one was announced as a trip to Bursa. Well, we haven't seen much of the city, but it was a fun day out to enjoy the snowy part of Turkey. The total cost was 350 lira, including transportation for the bus and ferry, and the lunch. Uludak National Park is the highest area in western Anatolia. It's located 36 kilometers from Bursa and 150 kilometers from Istanbul. The Bursa cable car is 8.8 kilometers long, making it the longest cable car line in the world. It can transport 1,500 passengers an hour in 174 eight-seater cabins. The complete journey takes 22 minutes and there are some spectacular views of Bursa on the way up. The cable car ascends from Bursa and ends at Sari Alan at about 1,630 meters elevation. The national park covers 13,000 hectares. It contains high plateaus, alpine meadows, glacial lakes, streams, waterfalls and beautiful forests. 71% of the park is forest and 28 is meadows. The highest peak on Oludak is at 2,543 meters. Oludak was known as Mount Olympus to the Greeks and Romans and has a significance in mythology as the site where the gods witnessed the Trojan War. In the 8th through 11th centuries, it was a popular monastic retreat and contained several hermitages. The most famous monk lived on the mountain was St. Dionysius the Great. Uludag is one of the first places that spring in mind when thinking about winter tourism as it has hosted its king since 1933. The Uludag Ski Center has a variety of tracks over 28 kilometers of slopes, with about 150 days of snow each year. Uludag Ski Center also provides the options to participate in several winter activities other than skiing. Although snowboarding and sledging are among the most popular activities here, they are not the only ones. You may also go ice skating or snowmobiling. Short-term training is also provided for the sports that are available here, and there are several options available for renting equipment. You may also be permitted to go trekking in places that are not dangerous, as long as you pay attention for the weather conditions. Winter days are short and the time is running fast, so we managed to reach Bursa at night. Bursa was the first major and second overall capital of the Ottoman Turks before they captured Constantinople in the 15th century. The Green Mosque was commissioned by Sultan Mehmed Celebi, who ruled from 1413 for nine years after a fight against his brother to reunite the Ottoman Empire. Upon his death, Mehmed was buried in a mausoleum called the Green Tomb, commissioned by his son and successor Murad II. 
The Green Mosque is a part of a larger complex that consists of a mosque, tomb, madrasa, kitchen and bath. The name Green Mosque comes for its green and blue interior tile decorations. Since 2014, it's a part of UNESCO World Heritage Site, designated around historic Bursa. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.